Uh, I, I've only tried Tailwind a couple times, so we're gonna give it a go. And I think the key with Tailwind, from what I've heard, is. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Do, 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 do. I just can't wait to get on the road again. you're doing well I've got to be a little expeditious today as you can see the uh, the clouds are rolling in and um, hold on the, the clouds are rolling in and usually this doesn't happen until about 11 a.m. but it's only 8 a.m. right now so anyway I got to get up the mountain before any thunderstorms roll in I think I'm gonna be okay it just uh, but they did say thunderstorms are coming okay we're testing out more running gear, the rabbit shorts, the bright green shorts. If I ever get lost in the mountains, I hope you can find me. Here's the uh, bright green. I'm so excited though, I've never tried rabbit shorts before. And yes, hold on, let me get my key. And yes, I finally made the plunge. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? Hold on here. I just been, you know, I've just been saving money and uh, saving money. And I actually saved money in this purchase as well from backcountry.com. Uh, their hashtag is goatworthy, so that's kind of neat. And uh, here we go. Are you ready? Can you make a guess as to what's in this box from Backcountry? Um, and again, I've just been i just been waiting and buying my time. But okay, that's right. Finally, we are re-upping our ante on some new Smith sunglasses. Oh my goodness! Listen, I'm gonna talk about why I love Smith and this particular brand. Now, uh, one second, how do I open this? And my theory as to why these Smith shades are 50% off is because of the frames. Check these out. I'm not saying it's my first and favorite option, but yeah, saving 50%, I can't, you can't beat that. So here you go, ready? One, two, three, the zebra print. Oh my goodness. They're back, the kid is back, back on track. So the t-shirts that I have, Seek Beauty, Work Hard, and Love Each Other, have these uh, frames, uh, these shades on the picture of that t-shirt. So I will explain up on the mountain why I love these Smith Chroma Pop Max sunglasses. All right, let's get ready, come on. Oh yeah, one last point as we're getting ready here. Oh my goodness, so many people are asking about this uh, white headband to help keep this, uh, the sweat out of your eyes. So it's called Halo Headband. Halo Headband, and yes, it's available from Amazon down below, just like these sunglasses too. And uh, basically, I love the, I, you know, I sweat, especially when the sun's out, not like today, but I am gonna wear it today, uh, cause I just cannot stand when sweat gets in my eyes and it's stinging, especially in races. So I wear this thing a lot, and I, I'm actually gonna buy another one, maybe today, because it's starting to wear out a little bit after three years of using it, so it is pretty durable. I use it all the time. Halo headband down below. And uh, so, just test and running gear for you guys, and then of course, my Solomon green hat. All right, all right, let's put these bad boys on. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Listen, folks, I love the color green, you know that, but these are, these pop, <laughs> holy smokes. Look at how green those are, wowzers. All right, onward and upward.
one of those days where I'm just tagging the summit and getting off of here. The uh, clouds are rolling in and uh, the rain. And it's a little chilly up here. Shout out to Noah and his crew. Thanks for saying hi on the way up. And shout out to Gio in the parking lot. Dang, we could have had a party up here today. Kevin, Gio, Noah, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. One of these days I'll remember to pull out the camera and get a shot with you guys. All right, love you. We're moving on down, I guess, okay. Question of the day, here we go. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind. Um, what is your favorite piece of summer running gear right now? Favorite, could, it could be anything, doesn't have to be shoes. Could be shoes though, could be any, could be socks, anything. What is your favorite piece of summer running gear right now? All right, love you all, I gotta get off of here because literally, I don't know if you can see the clouds rolling in, but I'm above the clouds basically. Oh, you're good, you're good. Thank you for working on the trail. Yeah, no problem. It's a huge, uh, huge improvement. Oh, good, thank you. <laughs> yeah. For real, huge shout out to all the trail workers. There's just so many people coming up, 14ers these days, and especially Gray's Peak. Like, it's just the trails are getting way too beat up. So, you guys, I want to come out and volunteer someday. I don't know when or where. I got to figure out how to do that because these trails need some love and attention and they are crushing it up there. Just trying to control everyone. Cause like everyone wants to get into the mountains and have fun up here. But uh, we got to take care of our trails or else the, the mountain will just fall apart. We don't want that. All right. Oh, it's getting cold. Solid, solid cruiser on Gray's Peak today. Oh yeah, okay. Are you ready for this uh, this race announcement? I'm just gonna tease it actually. It's not in the state of Colorado. It's uh, in a state that borders Colorado. It's all uphill, you know I like that. And it uh, it's, it's Saturday, August 3rd, meaning tomorrow if you're watching this. So it's gonna be a fun vlog tomorrow, come back, and I will uh, let you know where it's gonna be, what it's gonna be later in this vlog. So just a little teaser for you. All right, everybody. I'll talk about the sunglasses here in a little bit, uh, back at the studio. And uh, again, we should have had a party. I think after Pike's Peak, just so everyone knows, I will set up a group 14er run, probably here, uh, just to show you guys like where I train and we'll do a group run. It'll be, you know, just take it nice and easy and just cruise cruise up the mountain together. So after seeing three separate parties today that said, what's up? I, uh, I realize there's a lot of people up here that are running and training and it'd be great to uh, run with you guys, but let's do it after Pike's Peak. All right, see you at the house. All right, everyone in the studio, you'll have to excuse the crazy hair. I'm right on the cusp. So I always prefer to get a haircut like two or three days right before a peak race basically for temperature control. Like I feel, my theory is that less hair uh, keeps the head cooler. So anyway, I'm, I'm just pushing it off as long as possible until Pike's Peak. Anyway, crazy hair day. And yes, we're talking about summer running gear and it is all these items that I'm talking about are available down below from Amazon. But as always, go support your local running shoe shop. But some people like myself, when I was in Buena Vista growing up as a kid, like it was two to two and a half hours, yeah. It was about two and a half hours to the closest running shoe shop. So it wasn't like I could snap my fingers and go buy a next a new pair of sunglasses or a running watch or a water bottle or whatever the case may be. So therefore the availability of Amazon is just nice, especially for us, uh, for those rural folks who live out in the country and can't get to a running shoe shop. And rather than list all of my summer running gear for you again right now, I actually have already made two or three vlogs in the past 
six months on the topic of running gear. So you can check out the end screens at the end of this vlog and also the cards that pop out if you really want to go into detail. But I do want to talk about these Smith Chroma Pop Max sunglasses that I owned in 2018. Uh, lost them on a mountain run up at Mount Falcon. I can't believe they fell off my head. And so therefore I was saving, they're not cheap. And I feel like sunglasses are so overpriced, it's ridiculous, uh, but they're not cheap but I love them, I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, so I've been saving up money to get a new pair, and when 50% came and knocking on my door, I could not pass up the deal and the zebra stripes. I'll probably get used to that as well. Um, so the reason I went, I love these glasses so, so much. And listen, they're not like at the top of my list as far as style goes, like just the shape of them and, uh, the shape of them and all, but I do love the fact that there's no rim anywhere here. And why is that? Basically, frankly, it comes down to safety up in the mountains. When I am bombing, and I mean bombing down the mountains, and sometimes that happens where I just feel good and I'm going after a, a FKT or I'm like actually working on downhill running, which is an art, it is an art form. Like you gotta practice downhill running. I wanna have no obstruction in my uh, line of sight down to the ground. So these are some Foster Grant sunglasses from Walmart. Uh, I think these were 15 or $14. Couldn't pass them up cheaper than Gooder. Uh, and I know a lot of folks love Gooder sunglasses and I'm not opposed to them. Um, and I love the price point. I love this price point better, Foster Grant from Walmart. But again, it's this rim that obstructs the line of sight just a little bit, not too much. And so when you're going fast downhill, that's why I love these Smith Chroma Pop Max sunglasses. And um, I'm gonna do so, so well. I, I'm only gonna wear these like not around town. I'm just gonna wear them for races and big workouts up in the mountains. So that's that. I just wanted to explain why I got, I picked up these sunglasses for my summer running gear. And for the race tomorrow, Saturday, August 3rd in the great state of Wyoming. That's right. I'll be wearing these sunglasses for the rendezvous mountain hill climb at Jackson Hole, uh, the ski resort there in Wyoming. And basically it is the perfect tune up for the Pikes Peak Ascent. It's, uh, it's three weeks out from Pikes Peak and it's six miles uphill. No downhill, just six miles uphill. It just could not be more perfect. So if you're in Jackson Hole, Wyoming for some reason, let, let, let's meet up. I'll be there with my green hat, these sunglasses, and we're gonna go race a six mile uphill climb. It should take hopefully about an hour. And so it won't beat up my legs too much. It's just gonna be perfect. And as always, I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for stopping by. And if you wanna go deeper into running gear, definitely go check out uh, those two boxes that are on your screen right now. That's called an end screen. You just click on that and it'll take you to the next video that focuses all on running gear. All right, with that said, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.